All right, this video is an updated version of how to launch a site with City Page Pro. We're about six weeks in from launch and uh, we've made some changes, we simplified some things and uh, just made it a lot easier. So the easiest way, if you've got the plugin, um, you need to know how to get to this step. We have other videos on, on how to get a WordPress uh, site up with a WordPress on it. But once you get to this step, you're gonna simply go to add plugins and we're going to put in the new City Page Pro. All right. Okay, now we've activated it. Now, what we're going to do next is we're going to go to the settings and we're going to put in our API key. Okay, you hit update and you'll get this green message that you're connected to City Page Pro. Um, and I'm um, hiding mine because I don't want you guys to see my license key. So once that's done, you're going to need to go to permalinks. And we're going to save this twice. Make sure it's not on post name the first time. Save it once. Then on post name, save it twice. All right. As soon as that's done, you're going to go to your categories and by default it's always going to have dentists so this particular site is going to be for real estate investors category name is going to be real estate investors and i simply want to have one keyword in here which is going to be real estate but you notice if you have multiple keywords don't use spaces it's a, little, it's a little quirk with our api but if you have multiple keywords just comma next keyword comma next keyword but we're just going to simply have real estate Okay, and then for here, we're going to switch this image. You simply just click here, and then you're going to select the file and upload it. Just picked a little icon there of a house. All right, and that looks good. We'll go ahead and update that. Next thing we're going to go to is the uh, city page, and we're going to edit the template. You're going to see by default, it's going to have this 24-hour dentist here. These are the metas is what's going to show up on the page you don't have to change any of this this can be more advanced use where you're going to put in keywords and content in here but just out of the box usage you're going to come up with your metas and that's going to let me pause it real quick. all right and i'm doing city state short we buy houses for cash zip real estate investors and i'm going to go ahead and use this for the meta information as well you can be more detailed in your build but it's not necessary for success we're going to update that and we're going to go to our business details template and we're going to simply change where it says 24 dentists. We're going to say cash home buyers. All right. And we're going to paste it in here, paste it in here. All right. Update. Now the site is pretty much done, but there's a couple more things we have to do uh, in terms of the theme and the widget, what I haven't mentioned yet. So, um, right out of the box, if you didn't want to change the theme, what you would do to finish the site is you would go to um, Appearance, Widgets, and you would see here on the side where we've got Local Category Widget. That's the widget that will start the basically site map of all of the state and city and business um, pages that are within the, in, in the directory. So if I wanted to put it in here, I would have to slide it on in, into one of the sidebars. But if I'm changing the theme, all of these sidebars are going to change. So first pick the theme that you want. So go to themes and we'll come back to that. And I'm going to change this theme. And we're going to, let's just say this is real estate. Let's see if I can find a real estate one. And I want to show you what happens when you change the theme. Sometimes these new pages are created. Um, let's try this one. Install, activate, oh, activate. All right, after it's activated, go back to your widgets because you'll see this This has changed now. Well, maybe not on this one, it hasn't. It's got a home page widget. I'm not quite sure where we're going to have to add this, but let's put it right there, sidebar widget. And let's call it directory. All right, so now let's go check out the site. Real estate investor, it's in there twice. Um, okay, so 
click through here. So far, everything's all good. We've got our metas, real estate investor services in Arizona. Let's click Phoenix. And I just noticed here, just another WordPress site. I've got to change that to something applicable. This looks good. That looks good. Okay, so I mean, I could, I could roll with this. This is this is pretty decent. Um, I can change around the themes, but you see this theme, it brought in these header links. So what you're going to want to do, go to your dashboard. Don't delete those pages. What you're simply going to do is go to Appearance, Menu. All right, and you're going to, let's see, easy way to do this. Open up this, get copy the link. Just call this mine. I'm gonna create a menu. Mine, create the menu. All right, now you're gonna add a custom link. HTTPS, add to menu. After it's added to the menu, save, save your menu again. Manage locations. I know this seems like convoluted, but this is WordPress and how they do it. But this is pretty quick. You're just making a quick menu with one link on it for now. And now we're going to manage locations. We're saying all around this theme, the primary menu is going to be mine. Once you do it once, you can do it 100 times. All right. So now that should be cleaned up. Boom, boom. We've got this in here twice for some reason. So let's go look at the widgets. And, oh, I've got it in there twice delete it all right and it says just another WordPress so I have to go to the settings and I would change it here all right and save those changes now for the home page, a simple way to make the home page, click on this page right here, and you want to get those links. So you just view page source, scroll down from this div to this div. That's all those links. Copy that. All right, go back here. We're going to plus a new page. We're going to make sure it says write HTML. Right now it doesn't say that. So you click these three little box things, little dots, code editor, boom, put a title, it's called home, paste that in there, which you copied, publish, publish, you got to hit it twice to confirm. Once it's published, now you're going to go to appearance, customize. Okay, and we're going to make the home page that page. And we're going to go to home page settings. Every theme it's going to offer you a little bit different. Most are the same. We're going to click a static page. We're going to select home page. And we're going to publish. All right. And the site is pretty much done. The other thing that you can do now or you can do later is you're going to want to add a featured listing. Uh, in order to do that, you go to right here, add featured listing. All right. This is going to be the Rehab Depot. fast cash offer on your home in and you can use short codes in here in city and I can put rehab depot of city city state all those work in here okay and I'm gonna add a picture I'll see how this works add that boom boom We'll go back to our website and let's go ahead and check out what the featured listing looks like. And there it is. So it's going to be the top. Now this theme is obviously mobile friendly. Most of your traffic is going to be on mobile. So you got to look at it on mobile. I probably wouldn't keep this for desktop, but uh, regardless, this site is done, complete. I've got my featured listing there. These, de these business detail pages are all good to go. The site has a home page. 
you know, I would add some type of analytics to this uh, stack counter or Google analytics, get this thing to bulk add URL.com for the indexing. Just put in maybe these 50 state pages on the front, maybe just a few pages, put it on here and you're good to go. All right. That's 10 minutes on this site. I could have built it in you know, five minutes had I didn't have to talk my way through it. All right. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks a lot.